Hello and welcome. Welcome to the bustling world of API where different business communicates with each other seamlessly. But have you ever wondered how this digital conversation actually happen? Today we will explore the top 6 most popular API architecture style and we will do it through a story that is easy to understand and then we will go to the technical aspects of it. Right? Now those who don't know what is an API, just a quick information is API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's a set of rules and tools that allow different software applications to communicate with each other. API defines the methods and the data structure that developer can use to interact with the service applications or another system enabling them to build software more effectively right now keeping that in mind let us imagine a city which is having a massive network of different companies each with its own way of talking to each other these ways of communications are like different language or dialects i'm talking in one language which is english some other person will be talking in different other language right now some are formal and structured while the others are casual and flexible let's meet our first language which is named as soap now what is a soap now soap is a formal businessman soap loves structure he always uses XML to write his message, making sure they are well documented and follow a strict rule. He is the go-to guy for the big enterprise, especially when they need readability and security in their transaction. SOAP is a bit uh, old-fashioned but it is uh, still in the industries like banking and the healthcare and he is highly respected okay now from the technical viewpoint if i have to say something then remember soap is an xml based messaging protocol that operates over various transport protocols like http and smtp it is designed to handle distributed computing environment providing a robust framework with a built-in error handling and support for the complex transaction Due to its rigid structure and strong typing, SOAP is ideal for the environment where stick data integrity and security are paramount such as in the financial organization and the government applications. So let's move to the next one which is RESTful and I call it the everyday conversationalist. Okay? Now, uh, the everyday conversationalist is more of a restful thing. Why? Restful loves simplicity and efficiency. She speaks the language of HTTP using a common method like get, post, put and delete. Restful is all about making things easy. Whether it's grabbing a quick snack from the cafe or updating social media status. She is stateless, meaning she does not carry any baggages from the past conversation and that makes her super light, weight and fast. No wonder she is so popular in the world of web and the mobile apps. Now if you have to again go back to the technical explanation of the RESTful services. Now RESTful APIs are designed around the principle of REST and architectural style right that leverages the http protocol restful apis are stateless meaning each request from a client contains all information the server needs to fulfill that request this design allows restful services to scale easily and handle multiple clients simultaneously now resources in the rest are identified by URL and operations are performed using standard HTTP methods. Due to its simplicity and lightweight nature, RESTful APIs are top choices for the web services and the mobile application. So remember this. Okay. Let's move to the next one and that is a custom tailor or customer data tailor. Why I say that? Now, GraphQL, the custom data tailor, 
is like that tailor who asks you exactly what you need and then craft a suit that perfectly fits your body. Unlike rest, who might give you more or less than what you have asked for, GraphQL gives you just what you exactly need, nothing more and nothing less. Needs a specific data set? No problem. GraphQL will tailor the response precisely to your request and making sure you don't waste any time or resources. Okay. Now, let's go back to the technical explanation of it. And GraphQL is a query language for your API, allowing the client to specify exactly what data they need in a single request. It was developed by Facebook and is designed to address some of the inefficiencies of the RESTful API, such as overfetching or underfetching data. With the GraphQL, clients can request multiple resources into a single square, which is particularly useful for mobile and the web application that needs to reduce the network request and handle complex data requirements. GraphQL also provides a strong type system enabling more predictable and reliable API interactions. Okay. Now let's move to the Google RPC, a speedy courier to me. What does that mean? Now meet this GP, GRPC or the Google RPC, the speedy courier, uh, which uh, is about efficiency and speed. Now this guy uses a special lightweight format called protocol buffer. Hmm? which makes him faster than the rest. And because he rides on the HTTP2 highway, he can carry multiple package at once without slowing down, right? Now, GRPC or Google RPC is the preferred choice for the tech companies who need fast, reliable communication across different systems, whether they are in the same city or across the globe, right? Now, coming back to the technical explanation, gRPC is an open source RPC, a remote procedure call RPC, framework that uses the HTTP, HTTP sorry, uh, tool for the transport enabling efficient communication with features like multiplexing and flow control. It relies on the protocol buffer for serializing structured data which significantly reduces the size of the message and speed up communications. GRPC provides a strong type interfaces, making it easy for the developer to generate client and serve, serve codes in various languages. It's ideal for the microservice architecture where performance and scalability are crucial. Let's move to the next one is the webhooks, which I call the real-time messenger. Now, what does that mean? Now, here the webhooks, the real-time messengers is quick and responsive. Whenever something important happens, webhook is there to deliver the message instantly to the right person. Imagine you just received an online payment, webhook sends an immediate notification to your system so you can update your records right away. It's like getting a text messages the moment something happens. No delay, just a real-time updates. How is that? Now, from the technical viewpoint, webhooks are defined HTTP callbacks that are triggered by the specific event in an application. When an event occurs, the application sends an HTTP request to a specified URL, allowing a real-time data to be pushed from one system to another system. Now, webhooks are widely used for integration between different services such as receiving payment notification, triggering CI CD pipelines, or updating the CRM systems. They are efficient because they operate synchronously and only send data when an event happens, reducing necessary polling. Okay. Now, let's move to the next one and meet. WebSocket, the instant communicator. While our other characters like RESTful and Webhooks are great at sending messages when needed, WebSocket is all about keeping the conversation going 
non-stop okay now imagine you are in an intense online game or a live chat you need to send and receive information instantly without any delays isn't it that's where the web socket shines it's open a direct always on communication line between your application and the server allowing the data to flow back and forth in real time as quickly as you can type or move that's why i call this as an instant communicator if i have to explain it a little further what what you need to remember is think of a web socket as a direct line of communication a hotline if you want or if you will when you start a web socket connection it begins with a simple handshake through the http but then it upgrades the connection to a persistent and bidirectional channel this means that after the initial handshake web socket does not have to repeatedly ask for permission to send or receive the data instead it keeps the line constantly open allowing for the instantaneous exchange of information in both the direction whether you are chatting live tracking stock prices or controlling a drone web socket ensures every message is delivered in the real time without the lag or delay you might experience with other methods right so this is uh, why i like the web sockets very much now if i have to do this in the technical terms i will tell you on the technical side web sockets operate over a single long lived connection enabling the full duplex communication this means both the client and the server can send messages to each other independently and simultaneously without the need for additional http request this makes the web socket perfect for the application that requires low latency and continuous data exchange like real time gaming live sports update or collaborative online tools and there you have it the six different language each with its own strength and unique way of making things happen in the world of api whether you need the formality of soap the simplicity of the restful the precision of graphql the speed of google earth pc the immediacy of webhooks or any kind of other coordination there is a perfect fit for every situation the key is to choose the right language for your needs and you will have your system running smoothly in no time thanks for joining me in this journey to the city of api don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech stories and i will make it more simple until next time keep coding and stay curious and comment what is your thought what are the apis you are using today thanks